Good afternoon. Uh, this video is on how to make a maze. Now I'm going to be doing very basic stuff, stuff that we already showed during class, but this again is serves as a review. Okay, so let me get out of this website and go on to my own. You're going to want to go to the assignment page, and in the assignment page down at the bottom, number 11, maze game requirements. All right. In the requirements, you've got six. You need an original design. You need original cursors. You need to consider a theme, but it's not required. But a theme always looks good, especially when you're trying to be creative. Uh, you need a minimum of, minimum of two scenes. And we're going to talk about how to create those scenes. Uh, you're going to have to import sound. And you're going to create a set of directions. All right. Note, your entire game can be made up of three frames in length and two layers per level. Those two layers uh, are as follows. One would be for the cursor, the other for the maze. Of course, more creative approaches will probably, be end, uh, probably end up being uh, having more layers and more frames. That's entirely up to you. All right. I will come back to this page periodically uh, to get the code, but it's all here. Everything you need is on this page. All right, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take a 2.0 flash file like we usually do, and I'm going to go ahead and create a simple maze. And for time purposes, I need to make uh, this very quickly and I just lost my panel there it is okay so I want this rectangle to be the same size as the stage so I'm gonna go 550 tab 400 tab 0 tab 0 and this will be my maze so I'm gonna just start cut, cutting through it with my eraser okay and again I'm gonna make this very easy I'm going to make the staging area right over here, and I'm going to make the other exit area for the goal in this area. All right. Now, of course, creativity would require you to actually make it a little more challenging. Uh, because I only have 15 minutes in which to make this video, I'm going to make this quite simple. OK. This green area is going to be a button, and so I'm going to select it. I'm holding shift to create or select all the different parts that are no longer connected. F8, I'm going to choose button, and I'm going to do upper left registration, call this maze 1. I'm going to call it maze 1 because there will be a maze 2. Okay, I'm going to call layer 1 maze, and then above that will be cursor, C-U-R-S-O-R, -S and then I'm going to go ahead and make a cursor. I'm going to use an oval, and I'm going to use color red. And it's going to be the size that will allow me to make it through these paths. Okay, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to do F8, and I'm going to call this cursor. Uh, but the cursor is going to be a movie clip, and it's going to have center registration. I'm going to click OK. You can see my, my library, the two different types of symbols. Okay, so cursor maze, two different layers as it says on the website. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do F6 and that's gonna bring me to the second frame but I'm gonna delete the maze off the second frame. This is gonna be my you lose statement, my losing frame. Below that I'm going to make a button. This button is going to say, try again. Now I am going quickly, but obviously you have the ability to pause this video anytime you need to. Okay, now I'm going to choose these elements and I'm going to call this try again. So I'm just going to name it the same as what it says on the stage. And of course, this is a button. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to do F6 one more time. Now watch how easy I can change this. 
I'm going to change this to the you win. And then I'm going to put, instead of try again, oops, let me uh, actually delete that. Because I do actually have to make a new button. So I'm going to do that right now. And this one is going to say you, oh, sorry, play again. And so you're giving your user the opportunity to play your outstanding and fun maze. Okay, and then this one, uh, of course, is a play again button. So I just name it the same as, the symbol name is the same as the actual button itself. Okay, I'll click OK. I'm just going to look at my library, make sure I've got the right things. Now, I do want to offer my user to go on to the next level. And so we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, so this is going to be next level. Okay. And I'm going to highlight this and lower the font size. Okay. All right. Next level. All right. The only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to check frame one. And I got to make sure my button sits right above this staging area because if they lose, we got to make sure that they don't contact that maze once they uh, go into, uh, or once they choose that try again button. So I got to, first of all, resize it. I'm going to bring it over here. And let's see. Yep, that should work. Maybe a little bit smaller. That should do it. Okay, there's try again. And that's sitting right in that staging area. I'm going to do the same thing for the play again button. Make it small. About that small. And move it over there. Okay, perfect. All right, all I need now is code. So I'm going to go ahead and choose try again. I'm going to go into the. Uh, Actually, I'm going to choose the uh, maze first. Okay? Here is the maze code. Actually, here is the maze code. I'm going to highlight it. Control C. This is why it's so easy, folks. F9. Do that again. F9. There it is. Oh, that was a delay. Okay, I'm going to just drop this down in here, and then I'm going to do Control V. Check the uh, script. Of course, it's going to have no errors because uh, it's copy and paste. Now, I'm going to go down to the next or over to the next frame and choose the try again. Now, try again is going to send me back to one. Okay? Uh, this code sends me to two, and two is the losing frame. Okay? Don't forget, the number refers to the frame. Now, the try again. I'm just going to copy the same code, but I'm going to change the, uh, the frame number. So it's going to be um, it's going to be one, but it's all, but this one's going to be press. Don't forget the the oh, I'm sorry, the maze is a rollover. Okay, the rollover because that just means when they touch it, it's going to send you to frame two. Okay. Now I'm going to go to frame three, and I'm going to, sorry, let me uh, minimize this. There we go. I'm going to choose the play again, and that's going to do the same thing. It's going to bring me back to uh, frame one, because after all, that's where the game starts, frame one. Okay. I'm going to test my movie so far, see if it works. Now, I don't have a cursor yet. Ah, now, remember, flash movies will endlessly loop unless we have action script. And it says right here, put stop on the first frame I've ever seen you make. Otherwise, your movie will loop endlessly. So I'm going to do that right now. STOP, open close parentheses, and semicolon. OK, let's test it again. Ah, try again. Good. Right now, I'm just got my regular cursor. I'm going to hit the you lose button. Try again. Very good. OK. Now, we need a, a win button, don't we? 
And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a goal. So this goal is going to sit right at the end. And it's going to say goal. And I'm going to make that button by doing F8. So I'm going to do uh, select it all, F8, call it goal. Remember, button, center and registration. There it is. There's maze one, play again, try again, goal. Okay. And I'm going to come in here. Look, when, you re when your user reaches the winning goal button, note the number three refers to frame three. So I'm going to copy this and paste. Now I'm going to test my goal out. And bingo. Play again. Try again. Try again. Oh, I'm not very good. Try again. All right, I'm going to cheat. Goal. Play again. OK. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cursor right here. That cursor is a movie clip, but we need action code, action script code on the frame. Now it can be right below that stop. There's no problem in sharing the same frame. And so when I come down here, I will find it. I'm going to copy it. And as it says, don't forget to add the instance name inside your properties panel. You must select your movie clip first. I'm going to do all that. So I'm on the frame, and I'm going to paste it in. Now, my cursor name is not going to be called instant name. I'm going to call it cursor. So I'm selecting it. And I'm coming down here and type in cursor. All right. Now, all I got to do is go back to the action script in the frame and change that to cursor. And now I'm going to test my movie. And there you go. It works. Yay. And my video is 12 minutes long and change. Now, the next thing I would do is, and this is going to be the next video. Sorry, I didn't have enough time. But I'm going to create a new scene by going to the next level. My other movie, part two on the maze, will also show sound. Okay, but this should get you started. So thanks for watching.